market, 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 market. So everyone's always stoked. They're always really excited to get the latest and greatest update on how the San Diego, one of the most aggressive real estate markets on the planet, they want to get updated. They want their fingers on the pulse of the San Diego market and specifically the better part of the market, which is here in North County. So could you fill us in a little bit on that? Yeah, yeah. Well, when you ask me about the market, it depends. Are you a buyer, a seller, a renter? Oh, so now we have different types of markets. So yeah. market segmentation mm -hmm. into those three, those are the three main categories? Yep. Okay. So let's get into a seller's market. Seller's market. Yeah. Okay. Let's go straight for the sellers, man. If I got a house, I'm fleeing California. I need <laughs> to sell, right? Yeah. Seller's going to sell. So let's say... Well, I actually brought some statistics of what happened in the market last year opposed to this year. Mm. And right now, it's kind of a supply and demand. You know, there's not a lot of inventory. Um, between last year and this year, there's we're down the amount of new listings 10%. You know, so we don't have the amount of listings. Um, closed sales is down 3%. And then, you know, I mean, we just don't have the, we don't have the houses. So... Prices are crazy going through the roof. Okay. Yeah, because there's just not a lot of inventory. Gotcha. And the and this goes back to economics 101. Yes. Like supply and demand, yep, exactly. right? And then you get back to that age-old saying, like, the market dictates yep, the price. Exactly. So that's what's happening right here. We're 10% we're off. Yeah, and actually the, the supply of inventory, we're down actually 50%. Last Whoa, year. you're down 50% 50 of inventory? 50% of inventory what? between last year, August 2019, and August 2020. Dang. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So Which, yeah, I mean, we're in October, but the report I have is for August. But it's uh, very similar. Same thing, but different. <laughs> same thing, but different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're down 50%. So what that means is that there's multiple, multiple people, buyers bidding on a property, especially if you're under a million dollar mark, mm. there's only so much affordability up to a million, you know, after a million, you know, there's, there's less people that can afford, you know, after that million dollar mark, but under a million dollars, I mean, things are just flying off the shelf and there's multiple offers. Wow. Yeah. Going tens of thousands of dollars over. Over. Mm -hmm. That's good though. Yeah. That's great. It's good that's, for sellers. Yeah. It's good for sellers. <laughs> it's good for sellers. <laughs> for sellers sure. coming at you hot. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were to ask me about, you know, a, a buyer's market. Yeah. So if you're, if you're renting, you know, you're, you're never guaranteed of that rent. You know, you might move into something and then the next year you're, you're never stable per se in a rental's market because you don't know if, the, if the owner is going to sell the next year, you're going to move in and you're like, you know, oh, I'm going to raise the rent every year. Mm -hmm. So what's nice about buying a home is that you're investing in yourself and you're investing in your future and you have a fixed, you know, if you don't get an adjustable rate mortgage, you have a fixed payment for the rest of, you know, I mean, 30 plus years, but we teach you how to pay it off and way quicker than that. Cool. Aww. Yeah. We got into the velocity banking on yes. it to take a 30 year, compress it down into seven, yes. save hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yep. ZenFamUniversity.com. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> Th those are good conversations we had with those guys, too. You have an amazing team. Oh, thank so, you. Yeah, that's really cool. Thank so let's get into the good time. Is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to do both of those things? Yes. Or, or kind of what? So tell us what's going on here in, in this situation. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually a good time to do both. Anytime you're in real estate, you know, it depends what your plan is. If you're going to be in real estate and you want to kind of do a fix and flip and get in and out, you know, it's it, it's a good time. If you want to do a buy and hold, it's always a good time to get in real estate. Right. You know, people are, are... Especially here. Especially here. Especially Everybody here. wants to move to California. You know, yeah. we have the weather, we have the beaches, we have the babes, we have it all. Yeah. You know, That's so, why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Right? Yeah, here. <laughs> We're both babes, so it's fine. Woo! <laughs> He's a better babe. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, everybody wants to move here. And as long, I mean, real estate, I mean, most of the wealth that the wealthiest people have is from real estate. It's from investing in real estate. So sure, sure. just take that step. If you're renting, you definitely want to get into something. If you're, if you're a seller and need to transition or for whatever reason, you know, if you have to sell your property, then, you know, just take that next step to do that. But always, like, take that money and put it back in real estate what I feel because it's never a bad investment like people are so afraid and stuck in the past of you know doing what is the market going to do is it going to crash is the world falling apart uh, you know interest rates are the lowest they have ever been mm -hmm. I mean so your affordability is is ridiculous you know it's still a really affordable to buy a home you know so it's just yeah. making sure that you have 
a really good team behind you to get that home because the competition is really crazy right now. The competition. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah, we're fifty percent less inventory. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's only like only people are coming here. They're trying to get out of the crazy stuff going on up north, and so they're coming down south, right? Yeah. And that's kind of another thing. It's because the rents here, or the mortgages here, or the housing that you can get here, mm-hmm. you can afford way more. Right. Versus being in some in, in, in a different area, especially like up north, either whether it be in some sort of L.A. areas or suburbs or even you even go way up north and now right. you're at the Bay Area and you're competing oh, yeah. against big tech exactly. and crazy stuff like that. And they're just like, get us out of here. And they're right. coming down to San Diego because yeah. it's freaking awesome. You can't exactly. be. There's nothing better here. Nope. Like, yeah. I've been to a bunch of different other places and it's like, oh, hey, North County wins. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. Aww. So that's what's up. Ah. Yeah. And so as far as a, so, so let's, let's go down that rabbit hole a little yeah. further on these buyers and sellers, mm-hmm. right? So where are you guys seeing these, these buyers come in from and where do you see these sellers go? Um, I mean, there's, it's such a big extreme every, I mean, we're, okay. we're dealing with every, every aspect, you know, honestly, we, we don't have one particular buyer or seller that we're working with. Um, mm-hmm. We do a lot of online marketing, so people come to us from all walks of life um, all over. You know, if they're downsizing, if they're upgrading, if they're, you know, moving out of state for a job, if they're relocating here. I mean, there's so many different things. If they're getting a divorce and need to buy, you know, sell their their home that the family lived in to now have separate housing. So there's all different kinds of things. You're working with the whole market. Yeah, whole market. Yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. And then, uh, so now we're in this of going into getting, to making these buying and sellings of these people that you're working with. Mm -hmm. So take us down this negotiating ninja topic that we like to talk about here. Like what's the, what's the deal with this? So, um, I really pride myself on, I'm, I call myself a negotiating ninja because that's what I do best. Um, we at fam realty group, we have a team and I'm the negotiating ninja. I'm like, you know, if we have our, our, what we do best and that's me. So I really, I mean, in this market, you really have to know your stuff. How are you going to get your offer accepted? I mean, there's 20 offers on the table. Why is, why is our offer going to get accepted? So we've spent lots and lots of money educating ourselves, not just, you know, on, on trial and error, but really like paying money to educate ourselves, like what has been done to get our offer accepted. Um, So we know exactly kind of pretty much what to do to be able to get our offer accepted. It's not just price, you know, it's, there's lots of things that go into getting your offer accepted. Wow. Wow. And that's what you have to be a ninja. Yeah. You have to be a ninja. Yeah. We we say, we (laughs) save you money, but it's not, you know, it might not be initially on the upfront of your initial offer. It might be during the escrow process, you know? Mm. So there's lots of ways we want to be, we want to get you the home though. So that's the most important part, you know, because over time you're going to make money in that home. And we show you how to pay it off very quickly. Hiya, hiya! <laughs> the negotiating ninja. Yeah, that's cool. So let's get into the the guaranteed home sale. Is this a program? Is this a, is this a promise? Is this a, when you say guarantee? Is this like a thirty day money back guarantee or <laughs> like? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Um, it's it's definitely a guarantee. It's it's one of our promises as well. So basically. Um, if you buy your home and say you don't like the neighbors or you don't like something you don't like about the home or something happens and you need to sell within that year, we will sell the home for free, you know? So oh, that okay. is a pro- our promise to you. If you don't love your home, we'll either buy it back or sell it for free. Cool. Right on. So then we go into the home evaluation. Yeah. So tell us about a, what's a home evaluation. Okay, We're so going to evaluate the price of the home. Yeah. And it's so funny. Everybody thinks, oh, I can just go on Zillow or Realtor.com or one of those big sites where you can just put in your, your address and it'll spit you out a number. Well, the thing about those sites is they don't know, do you have an upgraded kitchen? Do you have a pool? Do you have, you know, they're just looking on square footage uh, around the neighborhood, the proximity of, you know, bedrooms, baths. The zestimate. The zestimate, yeah, which is uh, zestimate, no <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 the zestimate is, 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 is no, yeah. yeah. It's not an evaluation. It's not an evaluation. By a so, home appraiser or yeah. by you guys or a combination of uh, you and um, a team of people who do this professionally yeah, or what? We, we can, what we do is either you can send us pictures or we can come over and give you an evaluation of the home. We look at the upgrades you've done and basically give you a very accurate number of what you could get for the home. And also if there was some things that you could 
do, say your kitchen's not upgraded. Hey, if you upgrade oh. this kitchen, it'll cost you this much and you'll be able to get this much more. Mm -hmm. So that's our evaluation. It's not just numbers of what you can get for the home right then and there. It's basically if you invest just a little bit and that actually goes with some of our services is you can get this much more equity. So we go over all these options with you. That's cool. Yeah. Or just give you the evaluation if that's what you're looking for. Right. And then you take that evaluation and bring it to the market. You say, hey, we evaluate this at 500. We're going to take it in. You might, because I, I learned this from talking with you guys. Yeah. And you might not want to come in high. They say, don't come into the market high, right? They say, come in either par or a little lower well, so you can start this bidding war mm -hmm. and drive that price up. Right. So the thing about that is if you overprice a home, you know, I don't determine value. The homeowner doesn't determine value. The market determines value. So mm -hmm. all I can go over and our team can go over is, you know, looking at the comps and the variation, what we think it could sell for. And if you did this, this, and this. So have you ever heard of a, you know, um, um, oh my gosh, um, what, do, what am I thinking of? Auction. Oh, we can. Have you ever heard of an auction? We can, we can clip that part out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So an auction. So, so there's lots of um, people that you know, people bid on homes, right? So the price might be five hundred thousand at an auction, but it's really worth seven, mm -hmm. right, or something like that. So we get multiple, multiple bids, and it drives the price up. Yeah. So, so it doesn't matter if you price it for a dollar. If you undervalue the home, it's totally fine to price it that way because the market's going to deter determine value always. Oh, especially here. It's going to yeah. be... Yeah. What, what is somebody willing to pay for the property? Wow. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of money out here. <laughs> There's a lot of money out here. <laughs> <laughs> so then let's uh, get your price. So how do we get that price? So so that's kind of what we just kind of went into almost, right? Yeah. So so definitely... If so, you how, how does that, so how does this look? Because I'm hearing you guys talk as being in the office and, and just hearing what's going on. Yeah. We had two offers coming in today. We had 20 offers on this last one, right? And you're getting all these offers coming in, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how does that work? So this on guy has an listing? offer and this guy has an offer and this guy has an offer. So if we're getting the price, mm -hmm. where, where does that land? Where, what's what's the final offer? How does that? Okay. So say for like one of our listings, is that what you're saying? So if we yeah. have a listing and we're getting all these offers in, where mm -hmm. do we land on price? Yeah. So basically we can do either a multiple counter to all of them stating, or we pick the top, you know, cause if you're, if you know, like one of our last listings, we was listed at 619, we had 20 offers, you know? So if we have 20 offers, do we want, want to respond to them all? Most likely not. We want to pick the top ones and either do a highest and best, or we come up with a price that the seller feels like I'd be happy getting this, you know? Cause sometimes okay. if you do a highest and best, what we found is there becomes buyer remorse. You know, ah. they're, they think about it. They're like, oh, I shouldn't have done this or that. It happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes the seller's like, if I get this amount, I'll take it and run, you know. Yeah. And the buyer's really happy too because they, they're like, oh, they could have gone higher, but we got this. Yeah. And it, and it was like $60,000 more on, on our last one that we did. Wow. Over asking. That's cool. Wow. Right on. And that's what's brilliant about working with a local agent. Right, because you guys understand, you have the pulse on the market, you're in the market, you're actively mm -hmm. already doing all these deals, and, and so you're comping, you know what's going on. Right. Because I remember talking to Vince the other day, and he said, oh, we had an out-of-town agent come in. Oh. He came in from a different market. Right. And everything went to shambles. Right. right. Yeah. So that was kind of a that was kind of like, oh, oh my gosh. So that that does happen. It's a real thing. It does. Right? If you have it someone does. coming from down south or from up north from a different market, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they don't have the pulse on what's going on here and, and well. North County paradise, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> North County is paradise. That's yeah, for sure. for sure. So so take me down that path a little further mm -hmm. and elaborate on this, this the importance of having a local agent. Yeah, well, definitely. I think it's important knowing the market because if you're in Oceanside or Encinitas or I mean anywhere in North County like you can be two streets over and one property could be two hundred thousand dollars more and, and if you don't know what you're doing you could cost a client a lot of money you know especially in making offers you know if you waive if you waive appraisal there's lots of things so it's really good to know the market and know hey if you like this place speaking on, on buyers you know if you like this home 
what about this other part of the area? You know, you might like that. So I'm finding buyers and working with sellers and knowing the area is really good as well because we're already working with like, I think we have 20,000 buyers in our database. Wow. So, you know, we know the area, but we know the market and we know who to market to, you know? Yeah. So. That's cool. Ah. Right. And that, that's just another, like, that's an upper hand. If I'm a seller and I'm like, who am I going to trust to sell my 1.5, 1.6 deal? What'd you do? Like a 1.2 to 1.55 the other day? Oh, yeah, yeah, What was yeah. that deal? That was, um, well, we didn't do the 1.2. A previous agent had it listed for 1.2. Oh, yeah. And we sold it. We came in and did the lipstick. Yeah. Where we talked a little bit about lipstick. We're just uh -huh. a little paint and a little bit of staging and cleaning up. And we got them um, $350,000 more for the Okay, home. cool. See, yeah. so th those are the kind of stories that are like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and because... Did that have to do with you because you were a local agent or that just you were just a better agent and you knew how to handle the property? Um, I, I mean, it, it helped that we were a local agent, but honestly, I, I think it had to do with just looking at the property and seeing what it needed to sell. Okay. Well, gotcha. Mm -hmm. and, and we actually like went out to all the neighbors and we are in our marketing behind behind all of it. Oh, well. wow. Cool. So, so if I'm selling my house, what do I want? What do sellers want right now in, in, in today's marketplace? Sellers want buyers. You know, they want buyers. qualified buyers to come through their property and and don't give them any hassle. Don't ask for a bunch of repairs. They want the highest price in the quickest amount of time. That's what sellers that's want? That's what we do. Okay, cool. That's what we deliver. Sellers want it, and that's what you give them. Yep, that's what we give them. And, oh, and that's, that's cool. what's really important, too, about countering. You know, like if you get a bunch of offers or even just a couple offers, you know, whatever it is, you have to know what you're doing to be able to counter that offer to protect your seller. You know, and also on the other side with the buyer, you have to counter the offer to, to get your buyer the property, but also to protect the buyer, you know, if something should happen. Okay. So. Carlsbad native. Yeah. For Carlsbad life. Carlsbad native. For life. Wow. Yeah. I traveled, okay. um, I traveled around the world DJing actually for a good bit of my life and I got into real estate um, just because I knew of all the opportunity and I bought my first house 20 years ago. And when I bought my first house and walked in that feeling of walking into my own home, instead of walking into an apartment and something that I didn't own, just that feeling I wanted to give other people. So that's why, why I got into real estate. Wow. Yeah. That's I mean, cool. It, it really is like that feeling of just like, wow, this is a, my own home. I have my own yard. I can paint the col colors of the walls, whatever I want. And having a garage to pull into and unload my groceries and have a garden. And I just really wanted to give that to people. So that was my big why is like, you know, I knew it was a, a, a tool to give to people and that feeling of home ownership. So uh, that's why, why I got into real estate. Yeah. Wow. And um, yeah, so I've been doing it for almost 20 years now. And I have a, a beautiful team um, that our team is FAM Realty Group and FAM, short for family. It's my initials as well, Francis Ann Mouser. But um, yeah, family. My mom's on the team. I have a son-like figure on my team. And one of my, actually our past clients, Stephen Warnock, who, mm -hmm. you know, we helped him get into his home and he's like on the investor side of things and now an amazing buyer's agent um, on the team. You know, so everybody on the team, and Kimberly, she's um, our, we call her the dope queen. She's director director of operations. Um, she's on there as well. So it's all, it's a family business, you know. So we really strive to um, give service as if, you know, like you're my family too, Ooh. Adam. You know, so like like we treat everyone like family and, and we really stand behind that. So our slogan is welcome to the family. Cool. I love it. Yeah. So, so in this 20, 20 years in 20 real estate, years. slinging deals, real estate, mm -hmm. and then now you're, you're rising to the top. I mean, you're at the you're right at the top of one of the most aggressive real estate markets on the planet. How did you make it? Yeah, yeah. How, how did you sur survive through all of this? Yeah, up I mean, I here? went through. Were you here for the 08? I, I was here for the 08. And I was here not so much like, I was more on the investor side of things, um, mm -hmm. more than the residential real estate, um, okay. realtor side of things. I bought, you know, when it, when we, you were able to play Monopoly, I bought 10 homes. And, you know, it was just, you needed a pulse to buy real estate. And so I had 10 homes. I think I was 26 years old. And then the, I was like, nobody, the market's never going to go down. Who Everybody wants to live here, not knowing everything that was going on with the mortgage industry. Mm. But, I mean, I should have known when I was just signing my name and, oh, I had good credit and I could buy 10 homes. So, and then the crash came and it was a really big learning experience. And going through that, I learned a lot. I lost a, a lot. And 
it was just really humbling though because it was kind of like your ego got a little or my ego got a little bit in the way I was like oh I got 10 homes and this and that I'm, I'm good I'm set for life I'm retired and then oh. and then it, the crash happened and yeah it was you know it, it was eye-awakening for sure is that what got you into the residential sales yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. yeah so so I learned a lot through that and then I I really started to dive into because I couldn't do both like with doing DJing and and real estate I had to work every weekend. I was traveling the world DJing, you know, so yeah. and nightclubs and stuff. So I couldn't do both. So once like my DJ career started to kind of, you know, I got more into, you know, I'm 30 now. I need to do something else. <laughs> so right. I really focused on real estate full time. And then I started on my own and then had an assist two assistants. And then, you know, now we have, you know, six people on our team. And it's just we're number 31 and all of um San Diego. So wow, that's yeah. cool. Because there's some other big players around here too. I mean, you're talking yeah. Redfin, Zillow, all these huge brokerages and all this crazy. And this is more of a, a family. Yeah, it's totally you know a I mean? small it's, it's, family. And right. we're not looking to conquer the world. And we're and we're just grateful for each and every person. We're not looking to do like like be number one. You know, it's great to be number one, but yeah. we really focus on just quality. You know, it's like not every single person that we meet will make a, it will work for, with us. Is this a good fit? You know, this is the largest investment in your life. We want to make sure it's a good fit. Is this a good fit for you? Do we get along? Is this great? Or, you know, and yeah. you know, so like-minded, you know, cause we have to be on the same page. Uh -huh. for sure. So now what's your, what's your next step in this journey? Ooh, next step in this Let's journey. Let's talk about this next step of the journey. What's going yeah. on here? Yeah. Well, um, we're looking to do, I mean, we're one of the top eight um, teams in all of San Diego. And so we're really looking to go back to all of our clients and all of our clients that we're continuing to have. And literally, um, we want to help pe people become financially free through real estate as our why. So buying a second home, paying off your home, and then how to reinvest that money into more real estate so that you're leveraged, you know, as well. And That's then, cool. Yeah, just kind of teach you all that we've learned in, in all the investment strategies that we've been able to do. Yeah. So now for you and the team, what mm -hmm. would that next step be? So are you, is this going to be a, a brokerage? Are you guys going to take over the world? Yeah. You're gonna do, we're going to broker and then you're going to have teams of teams underneath um, you? Are, are you? I mean, right now we're under um, Jungle ERA Ranch C is, is the brokerage. Um, yeah. So we, I haven't looked into that yet. Um, I think there's a lot of responsibility that goes into that, which the broker kind of takes care of. And we can focus on the customer service and, you know, everything else that goes into that. So gotcha. there's no plans of that right just yet, but. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, never yeah. know what the future may bring. Yeah, I didn't ever think about that. What actually goes on uh, being a broker? You, they have to take a bunch of responsibility for each, yeah. like all the teams if, and if all the employees. If somebody screws and up and there's a, I mean, there's lawsuits. All, I mean, we've never been sued, thank God. Uh -huh. You know, um, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, the brokerage ta does take on a lot of that responsibility if that was to happen. And there's lots of more paperwork that you know they have to keep the books they, there's so many things that it's just like most of the big teams don't have the they could have their broker's license but they they use the broker to be able to you know they just focus on the real estate sales okay. and then the broker focuses on the legal stuff gotcha mm -hmm. okay that's an interesting way to, to structure that i didn't yeah. know that that's how that was made up yeah we have an in-house cool. real estate attorney as well so we're always protecting our clients Nice. Oh, you protect your clients too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So, what kind of situations would somebody get in where they would need a, an attorney? Oh, I mean, you close on a home, and and something happens where they could there could be a bunch of mold or in the attic, you oh, know, gotcha. and the buyer says, oh, the seller must have known about this because there was stuff up there and they moved the stuff downstairs and they didn't disclose. So, lots of disclosure stuff, you know, they could come back and sue. You know, so lots of stuff and lots of, lots of different, there's so many things like gotcha. in California is like a Sioux happy state. Oh, so, so you just make up things and just go to, I mean, we will hope <laughs> not, but you never know, but, right, right, but right, whatever right, right. it is, you know, whatever, whatever could come up, we're there to protect you. Yeah. Like that's what part of our service is for is that if something should come up, we're there to protect you. Cool. Yeah. No. Right on. So, so now it, how about growing the team? You have six right now? Mm -hmm. You're looking for seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Hi. Uh, Why, you want to come work with us? I am working <laughs> with you guys. Come on. <laughs> We're going to sell houses. Go get, go get your license, Adam. Yeah. <gasps> Uh, um, yeah, we're looking to do add two more people to the team this year. Oh, cool. Yeah. You guys, are you, are they picked out? You ready to roll with them or? Uh, looking, well, looking? it's really hard to find Recruiting. really awesome people. So if uh. you know anybody that wants to join an awesome team, like-minded, conscious, you know, just cares and loves people. That's what we're looking for. Right on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could do some recruiting videos. Yes. Yeah. That'd be amazing. That'd be the next thing. You want to work for a real team? Let's roll. Ooh. Yeah. 